Okay, well, I, um, the judging subcommittee submitted the report. You all have a copy of it. Um, I'm open to questions. I think that's the easiest way to do it. I think uh, our U.S. delegate had a question to John. No, it it uh, it really has to do with uh, NP 2014-21, which was defeated, uh, rejected by SIVA, having to do with judges' currency, and it's a question for the judging subcommittee. And that is, uh, since uh, the revised wording that the U.S. had proposed has been rejected. Currently, we have in the rules in 2132 alpha uh, that uh, the judge would have judged an appropriate class. Uh, my question to the judging subcommittee is, is if, uh, if the U.S. submits a judge's name for an unlimited uh, championships next year and that person had judged in advance at the national level, would he or she be accepted? Let me just describe the uh, reason that we made this proposal to begin with and, and the scenario that we found ourselves in, uh, in uh, when we discussed who, uh, which Americans may want to apply for FAI championships uh, next year. We had uh, large advanced and unlimited champ uh, categories at our nationals. And what I tried to do was to direct uh, judges who had interest in judging an advanced world or unlimited European to judge those categories at our national so that they would be prepared. In anticipation of this proposal uh, being adopted, uh, of course now it's not been adopted, uh, which changes, uh, from our point of view, changes the situation considerably because uh, we would, we're, we're just now, we're faced with uh, different people that we might like to put forward that did not judge unlimited, for example, at the nationals, but did judge advanced. And they're interested in, uh, in for example, a European unlimited or uh, even an, a, a world unlimited uh, championships later, only having a judged advanced at the national level. That, that was the whole reason we put this proposal forward, so it would be very clear. But now that's been rejected, and we, we just want to know how we have to apply in the future and what sort of information or where we need to direct our people to gain experience before, before they apply uh, for FAI championships. Where do we put them? What seat do we put them in on the judging line so that they'll be, be eligible and then not, not turned down? So that, that's the question, John. I guess, I think you've answered it really though. Yeah, I think you've, uh, we've always asked before for data from your nationals are there any more questions to the judging subcommittee? In that case, 
Uh, we have. Do we have to approve it first? No, not the report. <laughs> In that case, if there's more, no more questions, I would like to approve the report from judging subcommittee. Are there, as there are no questions, are there any objections? In that case, Eva agrees. Thank you very much, John. <laughs>